In this video, we're going to be covering exactly how you can explore partially transparent videos from Adobe After Effects using Adobe Media Encoder. Great, so as you can see, I've got Adobe After Effects open. I've just got a very simple background layer and a logo up the front, which is going to form the basis of the transparency of our image. So what we're going to do is actually export our video using a transparent background and only include the logo. Now I've included the background just to show you how you can actually hide these objects so you can get rid of them and make sure they're transparent. Because in some projects you might want to export just a single part of your composition, but you don't actually want to go ahead and delete all of the other elements in case you do want to use them in the future. So in order to create transparency in Adobe After Effects, all you have to do, it's very, very simple, is you've got to make sure there's nothing covering that area of your composition. So for example, if I only wanted to include the logo in this composition and wanted everything else outside of the logo to be transparent, all I have to do is go to the timeline panel at the bottom here and then just select the layer that I want to hide, which in this case is obviously the background layer. So all I have to do is find the background layer and then press on a small icon in the left hand corner. And as you can see, this has got rid of it and it's just a black space. Now, as you can see, the background is actually black at the moment. This doesn't matter because it will come out transparent in our export. But if you'd rather preview the normal transparent background that you might also see in Adobe Photoshop, what you have to do is go to this icon here, which is called the toggle transparency grid. And if you just press on that, as you can see, it now also looks like the transparent imagery that we have in Adobe Photoshop. So this is just a nice clear way to see which parts of your video will be transparent. Now in order to actually export this, just make sure you're of course on the correct composition. Then go to File, Export, and then go to Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. And then what this is going to do is establish a dynamic link between Adobe After Effects and Adobe Media Encoder. So now it's going to open up Adobe Media Encoder where we can actually see and change the export settings of our export. So as you can see, I'm now in Adobe Media Encoder and here we have our tutorial file and then the export that we want to make. So in order to change the settings, all we have to do is right click and go to export settings. Now, as you can see, it's going to establish that dynamic link connection, which basically just means it's linking the two programs together so they can talk to each other. And now we have export settings, so we can actually go ahead and change our export settings. And this is where we crucially have to be able to change our exports to include an alpha channel. So basically what an alpha channel is, if you're unfamiliar with the term, when you're exporting any image, you include color channels. So for example, if you're in RGB, you have red, green, and blue. And then sometimes we also include an alpha channel. And basically the alpha channel determines the transparent areas of our image. So what we have to do is make sure we change our format from H.264 or whatever it's currently set for you and change it to QuickTime. Then from QuickTime, what you can do is you can export video and include audio if you want. I have no audio in my composition, so I'll just quickly uncheck that. Then here we have to change the video codec. And this is very crucial to animation. And then what we can do is scroll down. You can match source. This basically just means it will take all of the information from your composition settings, including the width and the height of your composition and the frame rate and whether you're using progressive or interlaced, etc. And then what I always do is I like to check render and maximum depth. And then here, this is the crucial part. Yours will probably be set to 8 BPC for the depth, but what you've got to do is do 8 BPC plus alpha. So this is telling Media Encoder to include the alpha channel in the export. So these areas actually come out as transparent. And then from here, I also like to check use maximum render quality. So it comes out the best quality that we can. Now, if you only want to export the alpha channel alone and actually not include any of the other elements, you can actually check this last option where it says render alpha channel only. So it'll actually only explore these areas. But in my case, I want it to include the other design. So I'm just gonna leave that unchecked. And then all you have to do, making sure that you've set the correct file name and destination is press okay. And then from here, all we have to do is press the play at the top to start the queue. And as you can see, it's now going to export our composition. So depending on how long your composition is, obviously changes the amount of time it's going to take. And now it's exported our video with an alpha channel. So all I'm going to do is go back to After Effects and actually import that video. And now as you can see, I've imported the video into After Effects, tutorial.mov. So because it's a quick time file, the extension of the file will be .mov. All we have to do is drag that in. Now if I quickly hide this layer and unhide the background, as you can see, it's still transparent. So I can actually go ahead and change the position. And as you can see, all of these areas are transparent and there's nothing blocking that background. 
So we've now actually exported that entire composition with transparent elements. So hopefully that made a bit of sense and you can actually export your videos with transparency now. If you're interested in learning how you can actually easily center the anchor points in any object in Adobe After Effects, then do check out the video in the top right hand corner of the end screen. And also do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and do subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a new After Effects tutorial.